Hi, I'm Mrs. McClellan. I'm the visual arts teacher here at East Windsor High School. This is my third year at the high school, but I've been teaching for 21 years. I spent most of that time in special education and literacy instruction, and I've been lucky enough to get back into visual arts, which is my home and what I went to school for. So what you're seeing behind me are some examples of art that I've created. And if you're interested in what I do as a working artist, you can check out my website at catmcclellan.com. So tonight, what I wanted to do is give you a little introduction to the art classes here at the high school, and then give you a quick tour of the room. All right, let's start by taking a look at Teams. I'll be using this platform to post agendas for our classes. Um, this is also where some of our assignments are turned in, as well as some file sharing. So what we're looking at right now is the general feed for the Intro to Art class, and we're looking at these posts that happen. So each day I will make a post. So this was our initial post, welcoming everyone here. And then from there on out, it's going to be agendas each day. And so in each agenda, we will have sort of a title of what's happening that day, and then kind of a step-by-step -step of of what's going to happen for that class. So sometimes it will include resources, um, but mostly it'll just be a description of what's happening for the class that day. The other two sections that are useful to know about are the file section, which we use for file sharing. So right now there's just a sign up sheet there. The other one is the assignments, which is over here on the left. And so right now we just have the two assignments for this class, but by the end of the semester, this page will be filled up and this is where students can click to see what is due and then also turn work in. Next, we're gonna take a look at my website for our art classes here at the high school. And so this is a website I put together so that students who are in class with me in person or even students who happen to end up at home are able to keep up with what's happening in class. It's kind of a collection of resources, um, video lessons that I put together, all sorts of things. So when you first come to mcclellanartclass.com, this is what shows up. And I try to make sure that all my students bookmark this in their browser um, on the first first day of school. If your student doesn't have it bookmarked yet, this is a great time to do it. So when we go over across this menu bar here, the first one you're going to see is resources. And so this page, I have videos on how to upload images um, onto your laptop. And that's really useful, particularly if you are not in class and need to show me what it is you're working on. But even in class, we are going to take um, pictures of our work and then we'll be posting them to teams that way. So these are kind of how to's for that. There's also a section on artist statements because we do write artist statements for our projects. And so this is just a little extra. We go over it in class as well. And some fun links. Now also under resources we have class norms which I will now be updating right now it just says update and then the last one is elements and principles because we cover those in our classes so these are there as kind of a reminder and reference for students there's even some student examples there. Now each of the classes that I'm teaching this year are across the menu bar. The ones from first semester are digital photography and intro to art. So let's take a look at those. So when you click on the main page for that class, you will be taken to this page and it has the name of the class and then the units that we cover in that class. You can get to each of the individual units through this slideshow right here. There's also extra information. So for this class, I have my camera manuals here, um, the camera equipment agreement, as well as some basic information that's useful across all the units. You can also get to the units by the drop down menu. So we can click right here and look at our first unit for photography. And so each unit you will see enduring understandings, which are kind of larger ideas that we're thinking about as we create art, some questions that we may be asking ourselves as we're working, the objectives for what we are learning, and then also some vocabulary. And this is really useful when we come around to um, writing our artist statements and using vocab specific to our art making. You will also see videos um, that are lesson videos. And so some of the earlier units are set up like this, where where there is a video library. When you get into some of the later units, it's just a collection of embedded videos like this. It kind of depends on the units to how it's set up, but there's lots of videos there to help students along. The classes for next semester are over here, and also the website will be updated as we go. So as things change or as I find new resources, they will be added to the website. All right, let's take a quick look at grading. So in art, there are three types of grades. Most of our grading is in our process. So every day students show up and we work on different projects. And so how you participate in that daily process is a big part of your grade. And so every day you get a five point grade. We'll take a look at what that is specifically in a minute, but that's weighted 25%. And as I said, it's based on that daily process rubric. The other 
big part of your grade is the project grade. So for each unit, there is a project, and that project is graded on um, national earth standards, and we'll take a look at those in a minute as well. So this is weighted 65% of your grade. And so each project is based on a rubric that is built on standards for that specific project. And those projects will be documented via photography and then uploaded into the assignment tabs in Teams. The final portfolio happens at the end of the semester, and it's a collection of all that we worked on for the entire semester, as well as a reflection of what we've learned. And so that's 24 points and is weighted 10% of your complete grade. So this is a rubric for our daily process grade. And so when I say that that grade is based on the daily process rubric, this is what we're looking at. And it's based on five areas, which is essentially participation, thought, process, materials and tools, productivity, and reflection. And so we're doing this in some way, shape, or form every day. And so each one of these areas is worth a point. And so as long as you are actively participating in the art class, you're going to hit every single one of these areas each class period. And so you will get your full five points for each day. So the last thing we're going to look at before we do a quick tour of the art room is the national art standards, which are how I grade projects in our class. And it is based on a level of proficiency. So starting from kind of missing all the way up to exceeds the standards that are being measured. And in art, we have it based on five areas. So there are creating standards, presenting standards, responding standards, and connecting standards. And so in our classes, we're going to hit most of these standards, but maybe not all of them. It depends on the class that you're enrolled in. And so for each of those standards, you will be rated on a scale of one to four. And so that's how we get the total number of points for each project. 